Okay, so I'm making a video on how to submit work on Google Classroom. Um, I made one before, but uh, now that I look at it and know what I know now, um, I don't think it was a great video. So hopefully this one will be better and uh, help you uh, for those of you still having a little bit of trouble. So I made a class. This is a fake, fake classroom, by the way. Um, I made three different assignments, and we're going to go over um, how to submit work. So let's click on the first assignment. Let's pretend your teacher over here said, um, says here, submit a copy of your work. It says, take a picture of the work you did for the equation 2n plus 5 equals 12. So they wa he wants you or she wants you to solve the equation on, on I get loosely for your notebook and then whatever the problems are. And then you're to take a picture. And I will do that right now as we are doing this. Um, I'll take a picture. I already had. So I'm going to do the problem, 2n plus 5 equals 12, minus 5, minus 5 on each side, get 2m equals 7, divide each side by 2, and m equals 3.5, or 3.5, doesn't really matter. So I took the picture. I'm using a, uh, what do you call, an iPhone. So an iPhone has, if you click on the picture, if you go on your pictures, and if you want to send this, one option you can have is AirDrop. And that picture can go straight to my laptop right I don't have to do anything so if there's that, that that noise you just heard it's being sent and it there you go it's been airdropped so I'm gonna take a look at my picture uh oh and there it is three five nine six click on it and there's my equation so I'm gonna take that and let's just remember three five nine six because that's the the number the name of my file you can change your name uh, to the, of your file that's up to you but I'm just gonna call it three five nine six so when you come over here, um, you go add or create. And we're going to add that picture right to your homework. Um, so you can hand it in. So we're going to go over here, click on File. We got to look for that file. We're going to select the files from your device. And then we're going to come over here and click 3596 because that's the image I want to send to my teacher. I'm going to choose it. I want to now upload it to Google Classroom. So it's being uploaded. It's now going to Google Classroom. And finally, once that's done, I have the option now of, not the option, but I have, my only task is to click on turn in, and boom, that picture uh, would be sent to your teacher. So that's one way of doing that, okay? So another way of doing this is what if you don't you didn't have that, um, you, you couldn't send that picture. Um, you could have sent that picture from your phone to your email so go to your email right and you would open your email on your, your, your laptop over here um, and I think already I mean, tab, let me just type in Gmail and I already sent that picture to myself ahead of time so here is that picture okay so I sent from my phone it went to my email I click on my email there's that picture again I'm gonna download it right it's again now in my computer again so I'm going to go back over here to Google Classroom. I'm going to add or create, and I'm going to repeat the whole process. File, uh, select from files, click on my picture, choose it, upload it, and boom, we are. All we have to do is click on uh, turn in, and that's it. Okay, so those are two ways that I can think of, of adding or of taking that picture from your phone or wherever you're taking from um, and send it to your teacher now you can even use your I, I guess if you you can even use the camera on your on your laptop I mean a lot of a lot of they call laptops or have uh, what do you call cameras so you can take a picture with that too so that could have been another option you could have done or and then the last uh, I guess the other way is when you click on add or create you can scroll down over here and click on Docs if you click on Docs let me just get rid of my email if you click on Docs a Google document is gonna open I don't really wouldn't really suggest this way because it's I don't know how you gonna it's kinda a pain to show equation work typing it out. So let's say two M plus five equals twelve. So I would definitely here tell ask what do you call ask you to ask your teacher, can I do it this way? Um, I don't see why not. So if you subtract five from each side Let's draw a line here. I end up getting 2m 
equals 7. And then what do we have to do? We have to isolate our variable here. So I'm going to divide that side and this side by 2. You see what I mean by this is not the best way of doing it. But I'm going to do it anyway. Divide by 2. And finally, we get that our answer m is going to be small m. It's going to be uh, 3.5. So you can, you can complement this by writing a couple of sentences over here. If this is not um, as neat, you can say I did this and I did that. Um, and type your explanation here. And then the beauty about this is that you now, now you can go here and click on turn in. So now that will be turned into your teacher. Okay, so if, if downloading a picture or uploading a picture to your laptop or to your computer doesn't work, maybe you can do it this way. Okay, and again, once you click that turn in, it goes to your teacher. So that's three ways of doing this type of assignment. Okay. Um, let me go over here and click. Oh, there's a different assignment. So here is a different assignment. So this one, it's uh, you'll see. So here it says um, create a one paragraph book report on the last book you read on Google Documents. So that's your assignment, and your teacher is going, is asking you to do the assignment on the, on Google Documents. So you're gonna go over here, add or create, right? You're gonna go scroll down and go to Docs again. And once you get to Docs, will it open? Um, where is it? No, I have to close this one before. I'm sorry. So again, uh, let me unclick that. My apologies. So let's start again. So it's a brand new one, right? So book report and title of your book. Uh, I don't know, Lord of the Rings. Okay, and then you would write a summary of whatever it is that you're writing. Blah 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 blah. Done done done. Thank you. You're done. Right? Can I type thank you? Yes, I can. And again, there is that turn in button. Yeah, come over here and once you're happy and you're sure that you want to send this assignment you're going to turn it in and it goes again to your teacher okay so that's um, another type of assignment um, I don't know why this one showed up it should have been the other one so now the last type of assignment this one is a Google form so your teacher will actually create a, uh, a series of questions or, or, or yeah, questions or problems on, on a form and the beauty of it is that you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to upload anything you don't have to create anything just on the form itself I should have made more should have made my, more questions but I only made one I don't know why so let's say this was five six questions what's your favorite movie Star Wars and then you could go to question two and then you would answer question three and four and five some of them could have been multiple choice etc but once you're done you would have just all you have to do is just click submit and you're done okay so this one is I guess the easiest of the assignments um, to do okay and you can see here that it has been turned in okay um, apart from that that's it that should pretty much at least get you pointed in the right direction all right I hope this helps